Hey, Kalarav. Hey, how are you? Hey, good. Can you see me and uh, listen to me well? Yeah, I can see you good, and I can see you sharing the screen as well. I think you're good to go. Okay. But I think we're going to expect people are going to be slowly get into our session a little bit late. <laughs> with... uh, yes. I, I was just wondering, I mean, having a <laughs> question. So when I will do the PowerPoint presentation, like I'm in mean, full screen, so I will uh -huh. not able to then see uh, this screen of mine, right? I think you can be, yeah, a little bit harder. Uh, I will help you to read the Q&A since I can see the Q&A tab for you. So uh, later on, I, I'll basically, you're gonna do a presentation uh, on the uh, like a five minutes mark. I'm gonna come back with just video, not the audio. And then on the three minutes mark, uh, where we're gonna give some times for the audience for question and answers, I will start my audio uh, and then and give you the cue that uh, we are on the three minutes mark. Yeah, I mean, uh, I am uh, supposed to finish it by 22 to 23 minutes. Itself, so <laughs> yeah, so I have prepared it in a way so that people get at least five, seven minutes to do some Q&A. No problem. No problem. Whenever you're done, just yeah, let me know. I'll, I'll come back and I'll, I'll make sure that uh, I'll read for you all the Q&A and stuff. Yeah. So I do not need to do anything now apart from uh, so when you just say start, I will just start the presentation. Okay, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm this platform, so uh, and I'm the first time speaker in this event. So I mean, on <laughs> I have past uh, experience in the speaker, but I mean, this is first. So just wanted to make sure no, no chaos at last moment at all. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'll help yeah. you along the line. If you need any help, just just uh, contact me, uh, and I'll I'll, I'll, I'll I'll will be in this in the whole session. So. Uh, so when you start, I'm going to leave, I mean, from my video and audio, so I will be part of the audience, but I, I'm, I will be there uh, watching you. So if you have any issue, I will come back and, and helping you. Sure, sure. No problem. <laughs> okay, I'm in a little formal attire compared to other people, but yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, I wanted to make it, you know, like a real live experience so that when, when everybody gathers over there, they prefer to be in such kind of attire. So... I wanted to make it more lively for myself rather than make it as a virtual one. No, no, you're, you're good. You're good. I mean, don't worry you about so it. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. look awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Where, where, are, where are you? I mean, in, in India. You're in India? India? Yeah. yeah. I'm from India. yeah. Which, which part? Uh, west part. Gujarat. I see. Gujarat. I, okay. Okay. All right. So I, I, in a brief, I can say you the city from where Mr. Vijay Golani, Mr. Vatsal Sa belongs to, it's from the same ah, city. Okay. We are from the city, same city. I okay, yeah. got it. Yes, yes. So <laughs> I know Vijay very that's, well. That's the easiest introduction I can give for the same. <laughs> Yeah, I'm from Indonesia, Jakarta. Yeah, I I just saw that. Uh, so that's great. I'm, I'm really happy to meet you, man, over here virtually. <laughs> Wish, uh, like in uh, 2022, in March, let's say, if Imagine happens, we can meet in person and touch base with each other. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Uh, can, can, I really can't wait the, the whole traveling open again. Yeah. It's really miss all the the meeting and stuff like that <laughs> and the meetup true true i i i travel us a lot actually but since last two years everything is standstill <laughs> yep i think we are good to st i mean still three two, three minutes to go but yeah yeah let's give uh, uh until 10 uh, exactly i think there's a seven people right now in the room um, we're going to start at 10, everyone. Uh, just welcome to the session. <laughs> so is that Vazavada, how to pronounce your last name? Uh, yeah, it is Vasavada. You pronounce Vazavada. it right. But I mean, uh, it's a typical Indian name. So I, I ask people, you can call me KV. It's a first abbreviation of my name and surname. KV. Oh, K K KV? Oh, all right. <laughs> it's easy to pronounce for everybody. That's <laughs> a 
For those just joined, uh, welcome again. Uh, we're going to start the session uh, sharp at 10 o'clock while we're waiting uh, people to transition from the other session. Gonna wait another one minute. All right, okay. Uh, welcome again to this. Uh, I think it's the first session after the keynote. Uh, so my name is Muliadi Gio. Uh, I'm from IQ. I will be the moderator for this session today. Um, and we have a wonderful speaker here, uh, Mr. Kalara Fazavada, or you can call him KV. And he's a delivery manager at the Brainwire uh, Infotech. Uh, he also an uh, Adobe certified professional and certified Scrum Master for 14 years. With 14 years, more than 14 years IT and manager experience uh, doing implementing technology solutions for various clients. And today he is going to have a very interesting topic about an AI and e-commerce growth. So without further ado, please welcome Mr. KV. Go ahead, KV. The floor is yours. Thank you so much, uh, Gio, for the nice introduction. And very warm welcome to everybody. Uh, good morning to people there in USA. And good evening to people for the rest of the world because they are from the different time zones. So thank you so much for providing me this great opportunity. I'm really thankful to Magento Association and all the speaker panel who has chosen my topic. So I would like to uh, discuss today about use of artificial intelligence in e-commerce growth. Myself, uh, Kalra Vasauda, I'm working as a delivery manager in Brainwire Infotech. I am Adobe Certified Professional Commerce Developer and Adobe Certified Business Practitioner. On top of that, I did certified Scrum Master certification and I am having 14 plus years of IT experience. And my personal passion lies within helping community knowledge sharing and train people uh, with you know various technologies and everything. And Magento and e-commerce are uh, you know running in my blood, I would say, because I'm working with Magento since almost more than 10 years. So I'm really eager to explore and uh, the innovations about the e-commerce and helping the client to scale up. About Brainwire. So I'm working with this company for more than eight years now. And Brainwire is a digital enabler uh, who works with uh, various technologies and providing solutions, uh, mainly being a Adobe partner. We are working with enterprise and cloud solutions as well. On top of that, we are having a team who works into mobile commerce, uh, mobile applications, and various development in, uh, that include uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain, IoT, etc. Having a 20 plus offices globally, considering we are uh, India based one of the MNC. So, how to leverage artificial intelligence in e commerce? So, first of all, I mean, AI is the buzzword. So let's, let's understand what is AI. So artificial intelligence is nothing but the simulation of a computer system. And it is like, uh, you know, combining all the thoughts what are running behind your mind into the system and system will think on behalf of you. So how it can help into e-commerce domain. So basically the 
pain of e-commerce domain is customer acquisition, customer retention, and then operational efficiency, along with inventory and uh, you know product management and everything. So how uh, customer acquisition uh, it will help, how customer retention it will help. So I will be describing all that in a brief manner because definitely 30 minutes is a very limited amount of time, but still I will try my best to educate you people on these things. So it has been, uh, it has been checked and uh, found that 60% of uh, boost is found when AI is introduced into a specific uh, system. So- Okay, um, Kevi, sorry to interrupt. Uh, uh, I think you haven't click on the presentations on your PowerPoint. So we still see the first slide. I don't know if you are, or maybe you're sharing on the, the wrong. Sorry to interrupt you. No problem. Is it visible now? It is uh, uh, the PowerPoint not on the presentation kind of mode. Let's try again. Or maybe you have a two screen, you have to switch the screen share. Is it visible now? Yeah, now uh, still, still the same PowerPoint, not in the presentation one. Good. Yeah, now good. Perfect. Go ahead. Apologize for being. <laughs> well, yeah. So uh, this is, you know, advantages and disadvantages of virtual uh, event happening over there. Anyway, so I will not go onto these screens again. I mean, I have uh, mentioned that in a brief. But the main uh, point which I wanted to convey and cover is the usage of artificial intelligence into e-commerce world. So as I mentioned, the customer acquisition and customer retention is considered to be a pain point for the uh, vendors or the uh, you know ecosystems who are uh, handling the uh, e-commerce platforms so for them how artificial intelligence is going to help so on that i will be focusing more and how artificial intelligence can be help in uh, you know targeting their customer helping them to uh, return back to the system so in a in an analysis it has been found that artificial intelligence is going to help to boost your sales 60% over uh, there compared to your original sales what you are having so that's a really drastically great number i mean anybody who is doing e-commerce business will be really happy to see this kind of rise in uh, their sales if artificial intelligence being involved it has been analyzed and found that the spending of retailers will be expected to reach by $5 billion by 2022 with the usage of artificial intelligence. So let's talk uh, on a very layman language what artificial intelligence will be held with this agenda, what I have in my list. So for example, I am visiting a Starbucks. I am I'm taking a Frappuccino or I'm taking a latte. So I'm taking it on very, uh, I mean, very often over the same. So if the artificial intelligence involved over there, so it will automatically let me know like at what time there is a least amount of queue over there into the, uh, I mean, specific uh, cafe of Starbucks. And I can, I mean, easily save my amount of time. I mean, if I'm passing by over there, let's say any uh, Starbucks cafe, and if it, if it is, you know, uh, recorded into their uh, machine data, then it will analyze and found that, hey, KV is interested in this, let and today there is an offer so let's serve them that specific amount of product so that way it will be easy for a vendor who are making a sale to increase their sale and and give the boost into the same so how all this mechanism of artificial intelligence work that let's understand in a brief so all this technology drive based on the data so the system tried to identify the objective of the data. It aligns the data into a specific manner and based on the same prescriptive and predictive analysis being done. And from there, 
it helps to identify how to you know judge the customer and to solve them on the same so how to acquiring the data how to analyze the data and what actions needs to be done based on the same that's the core of artificial intelligence into e-commerce system so we all are utilizing a lot of website a lot of mobile applications on day-to-day -day basis and it all asks to share our data our details and everything so whatever details we are sharing into the same it will be stored in a specific manner and based on the same the specific algorithm being applied to identify what needs to be done in order to deliver the right amount of thing on right place and right time so to brief about the old uh, scenario or old uh, way i would say was working with excel sheets so i mean people uh, with the old era have worked with the excel sheet they were preparing the large amount of excel sheets data and on in that like they were doing a couple of calculations and analysis but that was not the accurate one and it was too much time consuming like even people who are utilizing pim tools for making the product entry they have to do all the manual entries over there it it leads to poor inventory insights over there like i mean there is a specific sale of a black friday or uh, you know i mean specific christmas sale uh, new year sale is going on and you are tend to sell your specific mobile let's say uh, iphone 13 has launched and specific vendor who is selling that specific device he uh, he can plan like how much inventory he need to keep reserved in order to achieve the sales target based on the past experience of the customers and past experience of the sale so that helps them to identify and set up the inventory in a future planning and execution data generation and data taking so we know like seo search engine optimization is the key aspect to handle and uh, market your website once you develop your website it requires to uh, get marketed get ranked into google in order to achieve the good sales into the e-commerce platform so whenever you are setting up any website it requires to set up good seo friendly tags meta titles meta descriptions over there and whatever products you are putting into your website it requires to give a proper tagging to have accurate attributes and products and that way it tells google and google's search engine like okay a person x is interested in this kind of a product this kind of a category and it will help google to identify based on their behavior what needs to be represented to them when they are searching or when they are coming back onto the website or into the google search engine and it has been identified like if the product has been displayed with the good image quality and everything then it produces more than 90 percent accuracy and the conversion rate is much much higher categorization and transformation so what does it mean so when you are having a lot of custom a lot of products a lot of product types categories and the data so you need to set up a nice algorithm which can identify and transform the product attributes to a set of data and that data can be read via data science data learning and that mechanism will help to identify in future your needs and your expectation as a customer and that will help you to also give the boost of uh, you know your interested products so for example if it is my birthday now i am uh, you know uh, interested in going and finding one good uh, taco from let's say taco bell so i i entered uh, in taco bell or i entered i, I purchased a burrito bowl so next time when my birthday will come so it will uh, save that data that kv was interested in burrito bowl on last birthday so on next birthday when my birthday will come it will automatically pop up to the person who is making this sale and it will help them to let them know that like kv will be interested if i will give the discount on specific burrito or uh, taco and that way i will be a happy customer because i get the discount automatically i will feel like oh, wow that's been something personalized 
so next thing in the artificial intelligence is about the personalization how personalization will help a vendor to make their sales more and how it attracts their customers to feel like it is a very personalized so for that all the things matter is data so data what has been created labeled or structured it needs to analyze and identify the trends and patterns so trends and patterns is none other than let's say if i am a specific uh, i mean um, it's a birthday it's an anniversary or any specific events which is falls within then based on the same the system will make the decision system will work as my mind apart outside of my body and it will help me to identify what i am interested so everybody who uh, uh, who are available over here have identified like the pandemic i mean it was the word which nobody has heard in last 100 years i would say and since last uh, you know 1.5 years we are struggling with this i would say more than 1.5 years so i mean the e-commerce have been uh, enhanced a lot over this duration and let's say if i have specific need of food or a grocery then when it gets automatically get emptied and if there is artificial intelligence uh, set into the e-commerce applications which i am using then it will automatically set up the order and it will let me know like hey this things is getting empty at your place and i would be happy wow that's that's something amazing which i don't need to remember or keep uh, preparing my list for my next purchase so predictive models such way can help and learn make better decision by taking more data into consideration and allowing the retailers to have the accurately forecast uh, the sales what they wanted to make and that way it will be really helpful for the retailers like okay what inventory they need to keep they need to plan and what uh, products they need to order from their vendors in terms of generating the purchase orders or sales orders and definitely at the end you can see the revenue will be definitely going to higher and it has been an analyzed and found in one of the study that it increases by 23 percent with such impacts product search and discovery so search i mean everybody uh, in the world are utilizing google first of all or maybe bing or some popular search engine just to do the search on the internet but when you talk about a specific website so customer are interested in doing a right search right discovery from the website let's say if i'm going on a website with uh, uh, with exclusive seller into e-commerce so in that case if i'm interested to find my product i will find either by my by its name or it's by brand or it's by manufacturer or something like that so if your search engine is giving you accurate data within the website itself the chances are like around 59 percent of visitors will make it a perfect sale or purchase onto the same so how in the search or discovery phase artificial intelligence will help so whatever search you are making the data will be saved within your database and next time when you will come so if you are a logged in user it will save all your data and whatever searches you have made based on the same the next time your product recommendation your product suggestions and cross sell upsell will happen so that definitely will impress you like wow something what i have searched last time i found it let's say i found mobile this time then it will suggest me like okay you should buy a mobile cover you should buy this airports you should buy uh, let's say apple watch and that way it will impress the customer as well and customers it will understand the customers need so it will definitely help them to purchase the next thing and it will help the retailer to increase their sale 80 percent of uh, shoppers are used to do a site search on regular basis and search as mentioned it is a critical shopping experience one more thing about the artificial intelligence can be utilized is in abandoned cart so customer who are coming to your website let's say you are a retailer who are making a sale or you are a developer who are making a uh, website development so abandoned cart is one of such feature let's say if it has been implemented and customer is coming to your portal then it will help them 
to identify like customer if does not purchase the product then next time it will send them email or a notification and with some specific discount set on the same with the automation and that will help to let them know like hey your product is available with less amount of uh, charges or maybe some coupon code can be applied and you can avail it on the less price as i mentioned previously about the personalization so what is personalization and how it will help so the figure says if you show your customer how the product will look like on you the chances are that the customer will be more interested in purchasing that product somewhere over here it has been also associated with the augmented reality as well <coughs> excuse me so for example i am not having a super perfect fit body but let's say if i am a wide spread body and if i'm interested i'm finding uh, one of uh, best uh, suitable apparel for me so the mannequin which has been shown into the website as in photo would look perfect if you are going into a physical store you will definitely give it a try on your body check in the mirror and then you will select yes now it's perfect so how it can be done using the artificial intelligence or with the augmented reality and help the customer that i have tried to describe it over here so the shoes which i am trying to find over here i can select that shoes and how it will look on my uh, legs or how i mean shorts is there if how it will look on my body it will be identified so that is the uh, one of the image i have uh, made over here like how the product visualization will help if my body is a skinny or if my body is a fit then how it will help on to the same that i have tried to explain on the same now we understand the artificial intelligence and its help but the question is how it can be implemented so adobe has come with the best tool named as adobe sensei which is artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithm tool which do deep analysis and save and aggregate the visitor data and it can be easily integrated with magento free to download and easy to set up on the same so it can help customer like who viewed this product previously who bought this product so that way it will also help the customers to identify the value uh, proposition of the product and help them to purchase and make their purchase experience very easy and smoothly it can also help like okay this product is recommended for you so i will be also happy like okay wow this is something what i was expecting and i was looking after and it is now appearing over there and that way this will help in increase the conversations and uh, increase the revenue for the vendor who is making the sale product visualization so as i mentioned so uh, models with different ethnicities uh, models standing in various poses different size so it can be set onto them and it can be identified like how it will uh, look like and it will uh, help the customer to figure out like what will be the exact outcome of this product if i will purchase and as i stated earlier the rise in a sale it is very good if you see when it is in, introduced with the personalization so brands who have done the personalization have seen the sales rise up to around 10% so 10% is really a good number over here if we talk about so 6 to 10% revenue increase is two to three times faster than those who don't use the personalization so that way like if you are introducing artificial intelligence and saving your customers data and and uh, making them analyze and suggest them their interested thing the chances are there they will be definitely interested in purchasing your product and making the sales better so statistics is said the 37% shoppers who have done purchase more than what it was done on the, without personalization which was around 90% so this is a really good statistics which has been identified based on the various geographical entities <clears throat> at the least and last what benefits organization can have from ai so list is too long and it is really uh, innovative and uh, beneficial list if you see so each of this will have a good benefit increase in productivity increase in revenue 
uh, increase in decision making so setting up their inventory planning for the next uh, sales and their events ability to design new ideas for the customer predictive analysis and that way you can uh, save your time to do the innovation and make the new business decisions <coughs> excuse me so concluding the presentation what we have learned so far from this presentation is about customer acquisition how it will help chatbot is one of such application which also help you to do the answers on behalf of you what customers are expecting without your presence so it is saving time saving efficiencies and giving the answers what customers are expecting product recommendations as i mentioned it will help the customer to identify their interested choices and that way it will help into customer retention because if i am seeing i am visualizing a product with my personalization then definitely i am going to visit the site i am going to visit the portal and making the sales definitely on the same and that way as mentioned abandon cart is also one of such beneficial feature so with the automated email which is being triggered by system system itself will inspire a customer to do that purchase and that way it will help retailer to enable the operational efficiency by identifying inventory planning and on specific date what kind of sales what kind of products and categories needs to target and customer target can be set up according to that so that's end up my presentation over here thank you all for being a nice listener i am really happy to answer the questions whatever i can do uh, in the shortest span of time right now other than that you can uh, reach me in a personal message or you can connect me on the social media or anywhere where i can help thank you so much thank you kv that's such a great session um let's give a chance for the some of the attendee here if you want to do a questions uh, there's a q a tab on your right hand side feel free to Ask the question there and I'll read it to KV. Um, I'll probably give him a minute or two. Um, so so while, we, while we're waiting, KV, I mean, um, I have one question actually. I mean, uh, since there's so many different kind of machine learning, right? I think like uh, if you invest in AWS or Google, they have their own machine learning. I mean, will you recommend us to actually start um, working on our own machine learning on our data that we have or is it better to use the third party tool like adobe sensei i mean what is your i mean personal take on that so i would personally prefer that uh, if we are going to build something from scratch for ourselves it will definitely going to take time and uh, cost behind it as well so rather than that if something which is available and which is being easily integrated with magento and we should start with it if we have i mean adobe sensei is really nice tool it provides you a lot of different uh, reporting tools and uh, specific benefits so we should start with it and in case in future if you think like it required more customization then definitely you can go and do on the same and when you talk about google or amazon so they are having their own specific machine learning algorithms and mm -hmm. that you cannot integrate in your website so that is why Adobe Sensei is useful for your Magento 2 platform. Yeah, I, I have one question here from uh, Munanwar Khan. I hope I pronounce you right. Uh, he asks, is, is there any machine learning feature in Adobe Sensei that could send marketing emails to specific customers based on the frequency of their orders or interests? Or is there mm -hmm. other something close to it? so we can utilize dot mailer or mailchimp for the same in order to send the abandoned card email and setting up the campaigns for the same adobe sensei usually helps you for product recommendation and product suggestions along with cross sell and upsells over there all right Munawar, hopefully that answer your questions Let's see if there's All right, seems there's no more other questions. Um, well, uh, thank you again, KV, for such a great uh, sharing with us. And also for the audience, uh, there are more sessions coming up. So make sure you check on the session menu on your left. 
uh, yeah, your left <laughs> uh, to check out all other great sessions that are going on right now. All right, and have a Thank great you. night or day, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Yes.